Hi and welcome. Uh, this is Scott from Cisco Junkies. Uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to set up a basic RIP configuration. Um, each of the routers um, currently don't really have any config on them besides like their host name. So what we're going to have to first do is set up IP addresses and all that good stuff and then we will set up RIP and make sure it's all working. Our uh, ultimate goal is uh, we're going to create loopback interfaces on both R2 and R3 and we're going to ping each other's loopbacks to make sure that everything is up and working. Alright, let's check out the config. Alright, now we're on uh, R1 which is the uh, connector router. Let's, um, let's configure the IP addresses and then set up RIP. All right, serial zero connects to uh, serial one on R2, so we'll start with that first. It's 10.10.10.1 10 10 10 with the 32. Um, I'm going to stick on PPP encapsulation and then we'll stick on a clock rate of 64,000. Alright, now let's get into serial 1, which uh, connects to R3. This is 192.168.4.6. To slash thirty. And we'll do PPP still with a clock rate of sixty four thousand. All right. Now let's set up a uh, rip on here. Router rip version two. No auto summary, and we need 192.168.4.0. Oop, we need the network statement in there first. 192.168.4.0, and we need network 10.0.0.0. Alright, we're done on R1. We'll just write the config and then um, we'll switch over and do R2 next. Alright, I switched over to R2, which I don't have a access server or anything, so I'm just switching the console connections. And we'll get in here and it's uh, connected to R1 by serial uh, 1. And this is 10.10.10.2 uh, to the slash 30. Alright, we're done on R2. And this is encapsulation PPP. And that's all we need for that. And we need to get router rip. Uh, version 2, no auto summary, and for here we need network 10.0.0.0, and we also need network 2.2.2.2, which I forgot to go set up, so now that we have that, I need to get into interface loopback 0. And set this up with an IP address of 2.2.2.2. 255, 255, 255, 255. And now, um, let's take a look at the config really fast. So we do show run. There's our loopback. Our serial 1 is good. Our rip is good. I will write this config and then we'll 
switch over to uh, R3. Alright, switched over to R3 now. Let's uh, configure that. And this is interface uh, serial zero, which is an IP address of 192.168.4.2. With the slash thirty. Oh shoot! Thinking of the wrong one. Duh. This has an IP address at that five. There we go. My bad. All right. Got my train of thought. Oh okay. And then now we need um. Our loop back um, of three dot three that three. IP address three dot three that three dot three. There we go. Okay, now let's get router rip set up. Router rip version two. No auto summary, and we need networks one nine two dot. 168.4.0 and we need network 3.3.3.3 which you can just do 3.0 all the way through all right now we are done let's um write this and then we can show the config on here All right, show run. Loop back. Good thing that we noticed that. I didn't bring up interface zero. No shot. What do you show IP interface brief? And it's up and up. Everything looks good. So now I should be able to um, ping R2's loopback of 2.2.2.2, but let's see if it's even in the routing table. And it isn't, and our connection went down. Oh! Our connection went down because we don't have the right encapsulation on uh, the interface. We need encapsulation PPP. And now we should bring that one back up. And it should be back up and RIP update should be getting sent out. show IP protocols and we have RIP and they're getting sent out okay oops we want to show IP route and now we have all of our routes we have our 10 network we have our 2 our 3 and we have our 192.168 so now we should be able to ping 2.2.2.2 .2 it should go through Bingo. Alright, let's switch over to R2 and uh, do the same thing. Alright, R2. We're going to ping 3.3.3.3 and we're good and we can show IP route and we can see all of our networks. And there we go. There's a basic configuration of uh, RIP version 2. Alright, thanks for watching. At the last part, um, I forgot to do this, the last part um, is we're going to ping uh, R2 and R3 using the loopback interfaces with each uh, loopback as a source. So on R3, we're going um, to ping 2.2.2.2, and we're going to do a source of 3.3.3.3. .3 .3 .3. Let's see what we get. 
and successful. All right, let's go over to R2 and do the same thing. Need to go the other way. And I need to do the extended. 3.3.3.3. Yes, and we might to go from 2. And we're good. Sweet. There we go. Thanks for watching.